Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka it's the Benz Man. Welcome to the channel. So when I say don't buy a Benz, I'm not talking about all of them in general. I still love Benz. I still want a Benz. I'm just talking about for the amount of headache you get when getting a car like this, the headache to car ratio is just not the same. It's not even 50-50. I say you get more headaches than you do car. But no need to really go get a Lexus because I kind of already have one. But it's my daily for all the people that don't follow my channel and don't subscribe. I have my Corolla sitting over there, my daily for everyday use. So when I say at the 80K, do not buy a Mercedes. I'm saying, guys, be on the lookout. Keep your heads and eyes and ears and nose and feet and everything aware of what kind of car you're getting when you go get something that look like this. Sometimes when they have 80K on the market, they look like a really good deal and can be it's just i always advise everybody go for that extended warranty please because what's in this video what i'm going to show you guys of what my car is doing is just unacceptable to me for it to be at 80 and not starting and crankshift position sensor maybe again and all this stuff that's happening to the car i just can't see it as beautiful as the car is for the 80k update See that satin pearl in it. So a rundown of some of the common stuff that happened, the windshield, but this is normal. That was just on a freeway. I don't take that no kind of way, the interior. Now I haven't really cleaned this interior in 11 years and look how it looks. It still looks good. Or not 11 years, I had the car four years, excuse me. I mean from when the first owner bought it actually. But for me not cleaning it, I mean you get some here and there, but for me not really taking care of it, as a lot of people do like to say, I'm an outside kind of guy, which I know I shouldn't be like that. I should take care of the inside just as much as the outside, but I don't. But the car looks good, feels good. Now, let's get to the problems. Sometimes it won't start. Your engine mounts go out, your suspension goes out. Everything you can imagine for a computer, for a computer on wheels will go out. It's just not good. So that's when I say don't buy a Mercedes, but they are good cars. I'm just speaking for the ones that don't have deep pockets if you don't have another car get a daily driver car and i know the cls my bro got a cls they both got cls they are good daily driver cars but this one i don't think it is because the repair prices are so high on them to fix that it's not really worth it to me 
And so guys, you don't got to dislike this video. I'm not saying all out don't buy one because like I keep stating, I love my Benz and I'm pretty sure the Benz community, we all love the Benz, we all love the CL. But I'm saying like, but we don't get these and worry about about the gas MPG. We don't get these and worry about reliability. So that's why I'm saying that. But to all the people that do want a Benz, like you will get your heart broken thinking that this car, just it'll stay on the road forever, yes. Because the engine is bulletproof. But you gotta have deep pockets to keep it running. That's the only difference why I'm saying don't get one just because you want one, just because it's on the market for a good used price. So that's when I say don't get one. And guys, because it gives me headaches sometimes where even I, as the Benz man, think, why did I get this car? I don't want this car no more. I could just have my Corolla and I will be good for however long time. Like my Corolla, I got it with 25. Now it's at 41. No problems. And my first five, seven miles of driving this car, guess what? Problems, issues, check engine light. Guys, if you look at the car again, I'll show you this right now. Check engine light. And I'm not even at 80K. So that's why I say do not buy a Benz. I'm really saying it if you don't got the deep pockets, if you don't got time to go to a repair shop, if you don't got time to get your car towed in, if you don't got time to baby it, if you don't got time for a warranty. So that's why I say 80K update, why you shouldn't buy a Benz. Don't buy a Benz. That's why I'm saying it for those people. Now to the rest of us, yeah, it is a good car, but you're going to have your headaches. Are you willing to live with the headaches and accept the headaches for... The good stuff that you get out of a car with pillarless windows, big body bins, you know, it costs the floss. So this is what the car is doing, subs. On position, nothing. I don't know if it could be the crank shift position sensor again, but nothing. And I've just been sitting right here for the longest. And it's crazy because what it'll do is it'll load everything up. See, but it just won't actually start the car. That's me pressing it. Nothing. As gorgeous as this thing is, can you believe this, guys? And star status. So as I was doing the update on this video, on this car, that's crazy. On this car, guys, I was stuck at the car wash. That's where you guys just see me at. I was stuck at the car wash trying to get this thing started. And I'm just kept it. I showed you guys what it do. So it was going to the own position. It was going, it was like going from the own position to every position except starting. So guys, please put in the comments what you think is wrong with the car. I'm thinking it's probably the crankshift position sensor. But I don't know. And the engine light is on again. So, 11 year old car, star status, do you still want a CL? You know, that's the things you gotta go through. And I was stuck, and I didn't even know how I was going, like, I was gonna call a tow truck. I was maybe there for roughly an hour, just sitting there, and I was gonna make a video when a tow truck come pick up the car, me waiting there, inconvenience. And it was weird because it started back up, and then it went back out, like, right away. So, as I am doing this 80K, update or whatever the car is like i don't know what could be the cause of that i don't even want to play music i barely want to stop the car I feel like it doesn't really have no power so like i don't really want to stop it so i'm trying to keep it moving just until i get it home at least if i get it home i can let it park and let it be but guys i'm telling you it was all bad like i was mad i didn't even want to make a video i was like hmm like i didn't want to make a video i didn't want to do nothing i didn't even want to make a video i was mad that it stopped in the way i was at the car wash i was basically parked like vacuum in the car out which i never really do i was vacuuming the rugs which i never really do and just so happened that something like that will happen so i don't know guys it seemed like the crankshift position sensor like how it was on the last time that the car did that but i'm not sure i'm just scared i know like as traffic stops and stuff i want to keep the car rolling because when it did start it started and it went right back out and i never have seen it do that so I'm going to take it home for now, but guys, I probably will be bringing an update of the car on the tow truck, wheeling it in, going to get fixed. So I just hate that this had to happen. Overall, what's bad? It's a lot of wear and tear items. It's nothing that really, but I was going to say it was unreliable again because I was literally stuck right there for like an hour. Keep pressing the on button. Keep pressing like I was about to call State Farm to get my insurance to drive, but I don't know how I was going to 
drive it back because the way the car was parked. So guys, at 80K, at 80K, I'm gonna update you guys. I'm gonna give everyone a little insider. See, it's, dri it's driving weird. It just did, it just did a weird shift. I'm just trying to get it home before it probably run out again. So I don't know what's up with it. But yeah, it's scaring me that these cars right here are stopped and I'm trying to go because it just did some kind of weird thing again to where it seemed like it doesn't really have no power. Like the power's there, I can, I can rev the car up and go the power. I mean, like sometimes when I'm pressing on the accelerator, it feels like, like light, like it wants to go out. And guys, this car, this video is going to be mostly about me, you know, just talking to you guys while I'm driving because this is a real situation of what happened. The 80K video wasn't even going to be like this. The 80K video was going to be about basically me saying, oh, the car is holding up good. But as this stuff keep on happening, star status, when you see them on the used market at 80K, I mean, yeah, that's less mileage for this car, but... I mean, for a car, but on this car, it's a lot. Reason why, out of all the stuff I've been through with having this car, just make sure if you do end up picking this car that you do get an extended warranty because if you don't, then you're messing yourself up because with all this stuff that keep happening, now I got to do another repair. It's weird. It's like the car work and runs for like an hour. I mean, not an hour, for about almost a year, and then something happens, some kind of repair uh, go out, and I don't need to repair something, so... It's just getting to the point where that 80K, you see that? I almost want to tell you, star status, don't pick it up. Like, do not get it because all the stuff that's happening to me in this car. And so for the 80K update, I am so scared to even run this car now. Because turn it off and turn it back on, as you've seen, is a hassle. It looks good, though. It sounds good. Like, everything is running fine. But it's some stuff about the car that's just giving me a major major headache major headache 80k update gas mpg horrible let's see what i'm actually getting to the gallon 8.3 guys uh, this car is advertised at 11 i'm getting 8.3 right now but yes i have been letting it idle for a while but i'm getting 8.3 some of the functions, sometimes the massaging seats don't work like it should. My CD player head unit went out, so the CDs don't play. I gotta fix the whole head unit. I gotta listen through it through an iPod, through the connection right here. If you want Bluetooth, you gotta get the adapter. A lot of people do ask me in my videos about the Bluetooth. You need to get an adapter. And they plug the adapter in a lot of times right in here, right in this console. They plug the adapter right there. They put the uh, adapter right there. It's like a wireless thing that makes it compatible with your car. Because it already has Bluetooth, but it's for the phone. And guys, you know I showed another video. So this thing is kind of off. But I like just put something there to keep it in place. So it's been on lately. So it's stuck there. It's back on. But. Uh, it's an 11 year old car so 80k update good car so i'm 50 50 good car bad car i want it but i don't want it i'm really ready to move on to a s coupe put in the comments guys what you think should i go and just get the s coupe this video is a more update for you guys to let uh, my subs know let the star status know at 80k how i feel about the car i'm 50 50 i do want it but i don't want it it's like it's, it's weird guys it's weird i love it when it's running and it's going well but when it's not it costs to maintain and every time i turn around there's some different problem